At 64 years of age, Svetlana Zilberman turned heads of the Total Energies BWF World Championships 2022, becoming the oldest player to win a match at the prestigious event. Partnering her 33-year-old son Misha, the unconventional pair put Israel on the world map in their own way. Svetlana won bronze at the 1986 European Championships and is a 39-time winner of Israel's national championships across three categories. The Zilberman's journey started with Misha's dad, Michael, in the Soviet Union, when an injury forced the gymnast to make a career switch to badminton. My dad uh, started from coaching badminton. He didn't uh, play before. He was a gymnast in, gy in gymnastics. On the second year, he go to schools and my mom came to his uh, place. So he started coaching my mom. Uh, during the years, he improved and go to the to be national coach at USSR. And uh, as a player, she moved also to be national player there. And this during the years they like got married. Like during the years, I started playing badminton <laughs> in this all uh, situation. Then uh, my mom started sometimes to play with me mixed doubles to give me more experiment so I can also focus on my singles but play one more category and get more experiment. Let's say my main category is men's singles but we didn't stop playing mixed doubles and we play uh, mixed doubles uh, more for enjoying and uh, getting the feeling of the sport hall and uh, ready for my main category, men's singles. And yeah, like. We are here now. <laughs> I was 2021. 20, I started uh, more playing international tournaments. Uh, my goal was to qualify for the London Olympics 2012. This was like a very big goal in my life, and I put everything to qualify and to do it. During the Olympic year, I got some good results and I qualified for the London Olympics. So from then, it's like I started more like go inside the sport. I met a good friend from Singapore on the Olympics. He introduced me his coach uh, and I told my problems that I didn't have uh, sparrings and partners to practice in Israel. So most of the year I was uh, training Singapore and some time in Israel. Like 2016, I won my first uh, the Olympics uh, Rio. I won the, the first uh, match, so it was the, also highlight. From 2016, 17, I moved more to Israel because the coach in Singapore changed, and uh, I couldn't continue there. And uh, in Israel, when uh, when the focus was on me and uh, not like in a group. So it took like I think to my mom and my dad uh, like three years to help me to sharp everything what I studied during the years and uh, to win a medal at the European Games 2019. So this was uh, I think the peak in my career until there. Second peak was uh, this uh, April when I won uh, bronze at the European Championships. Winning the medal at, at the European Championships with like the condition I have, this not amazing, it's unbelievable because I was practicing uh, my mom and one more girl and uh, to go to the European stage and to beat players that they're practicing very good, they have everything. So it was like a very like special moment. Two thousand nine, uh, 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 playing the first time we qualify for the World Championships. We started before when I was fifteen years of age. So we play first time at the national championships. Uh, we won. Yeah, it was like natural to continue, you know. <laughs> I was still young, she was uh, playing better than me. So she pushed me and now more I push at healthcare. So... Uh, it's not difficult for me. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it's, uh, 
Я вижу просто цель, это необходимость, поэтому я воспринимаю это как... She, okay, she see this as natural because she she go as a coach to help me. So uh, just like she she coming with me for a tournament. So she don't think that it's very hard to just go one or two times to play with me and match and help me. So for her it's not like difficult. Мотивация. Во-первых, сейчас просто обратить фокус на тех людей, которые игроков, которые до сих пор играют чемпионаты мира для сеньоров и все это находится в колоссально в хорошей форме. Это просто радость, это ощущение ну, жизни. I think uh, there is a lot of uh, people that continue playing and playing uh, on the senior world championships and uh, not like getting a lot of focus but they also uh, like she continue and keep uh, being in a good shape and continue it's very like need to respect them and to give them uh, more like uh, stage because uh, they really love love badminton and uh, enjoying you know doing uh, from the heart <laughs>